Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the bistable multivibrator second type which is a self bias network or self bias model. So already we know bistable multivibrator if you if you see the classifications of bistable multivibrator bistable multivibrator there are two types of bistable multivibrator one is collector coupled collector coupled bistable multivibrator and second one is emitter coupled bistable multivibrator emitter coupled bistable multivibrator in collector coupled the collectors of both the transistors already we know two transistors must be there in a bistable multivibrator so these two transistor collectors are connected together to balance like q1 should be on q2 should be on q uh, q2 should be off and q1 should be off and q2 should be on like that so that push pull configuration can be achieved if we couple like emitter or collector and coming to collector coupled configuration there are again two different types of collector coupled by stable multi vibrator one is fixed bias fixed bias by stable multi vibrator and second one is self bias by stable multi vibrator in fixed bias bistable multi vibrator we have seen the operation circuit diagram operation and we have seen how to choose the values of individual elements and coming to self bias what is the difference between fixed bias and self bias if you observe the major difference between the fixed bias and self bias is in fixed bias in fixed bias we are giving an additional supply like minus vbb where you are giving this supply at base basis of both the transistors q1 and as well as q2 in fixed bias we need to give an additional supply of minus vbb that at the basis of both the transistors q1 and q2 that will bring the transistor to be biasing in a particular biasing condition okay that is fixed bias that is fixed bias we are fixing the voltage at the base of transistor to make it biased so fixed bias but in the case of self bias in self bias by the name you can understand it is self biased what is the additional voltage required no additional voltage is required that is why it is self bias no additional supply is required no additional supply is required this is called self bias okay so fixed bias is nothing but we are giving the supply in self bias we no need to give any additional supply it it automatically be self biased how the circuit will be self biased then how the voltage will be provided in the self biasing network you may have a doubt on this okay in the fixed bias we are giving the supply but in a self bias we are not giving additional voltage but but how the voltage will be collected by that okay if you see that you can understand that if you see the diagram you can understand in self bias we use we use a resistor yet emitter yet emitter to supply this biasing voltage to supply this biasing voltage hope you understand okay so in self bias that additional voltage is coming from the voltage across emitter resistor okay now let us see the circuit diagram so that you can understand see already we have seen the right hand side circuit diagram we have already seen which is nothing but your fixed bias don't confuse it is fixed bias wherever you are having this minus vbb that is nothing but fixed bias 
coming to self bias this is your main diagram now self bias in examination suppose if you are asked to draw the self bias and explain you no need to write, draw this fixed bias just i want as i want to show the difference between these two just i am showing these two diagrams on the screen okay don't draw the second fixed bias if you draw fixed bias then examiner you considers you don't know the exact figure okay see here in self bias i told you a resistor is there uh, from emitter to ground but this type of resistor is not there see here in the previous case fixed bias the emitters of both the transistors are directly connected to ground emitters of both the transistors are directly connected to ground without any resistor they are directly connected to ground and not even coupled together okay ground is nothing but they are connected at the same point this is connected to ground this is connected to ground means they are connected directly to ground they are connected one to another now these two emitters are connected together see clearly the same two emitters are connected together and through a resistor that will be grounded the emitters are connected to ground through a resistor so whenever resistor is there resistor is nothing but a voltage dropping network so definitely some voltage is there like ve some voltage is there whenever resistor is there some current flowing like this and as well as some current is flowing like this from first transistor and as well as second transistor these two are mixed together and flowing through this resistor re then whenever a current flows through the resistor that current into resistance is nothing but some voltage drop is there so ve is the voltage across this one this ve serves as minus vbb so this is what the minus uh, vbb absence clearance by the voltage like ve at the emitter voltages not at the base see the difference previously the biasing supply fixed bias is applied see, fixed potential is applied at the basis but here the fix uh, self biasing network the additional voltage across the resistance re must be connected at the emitters of these two transistors okay suppose here we have given a condition assume that q2 is in on state and q1 is in off state and one more difference is see here the resistors which are connected from base 1 and base 2 are connected directly to the ground okay r3 from base 1 to ground and r4 from base 2 to ground okay here the names are different r1 r2 r3 r4 you can also give the same names r1 r1 r2 r2 okay names does not vary here r1 is equal to r2 and again r3 is equal to r4 these two resistors are same these two resistors are same like your previous fixed bias circuit okay so now assume a condition like i q2 is in on state and q2 q1 is in off state so assume q1 off q2 on what is the current flowing now ic2 or ic1 which one is the current flowing this will not flow because it is an off state and this current will be flowing through the on transistor ic2 so now ic2 flows through q2 transistor ic2 current flows through the q2 transistor now what is the voltage developed across this resistor re so ve2 see here the current flows like this and goes to the re but there is no current coming from the first transistor it is zero and it is ic2 so this same current this current flows into re therefore voltage drop across voltage drop across re is what is the voltage drop now ve is equal to ic2 into re ve is equal to ic2 into re this is the voltage drop provided and biasing voltage supply by the ve and if the case is altered 
what happens now if case is altered means q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state then what is the voltage drop provided by this one ve is equal to ic1 into re this is the voltage drop provided at the emitter voltage so in this way depending upon the on and off status of this transistors q1 and q2 the voltage drop will be provided across the resistor re this voltage serves as a biasing voltage in the self bias okay so this voltage ve serves as biasing voltage in self bias self bias bistable multi vibrator okay so this is the story about self biased bistable multi vibrator thank you